Hey guys, just wanted to do a little update for 2021 so far. Uh, the Lego Star Wars collection is still growing. Uh, did a had a cool purchase uh, where I got a tub of Legos effectively for real cheap. Uh, probably in total a uh, couple sets worth over a thousand dollars and some random minifigs to add to the collection. Uh, right there in the top right, uh, Java, which super happy about. Uh, really wasn't interested in buying the tub if I didn't see all the pieces or the majority of him in there. Um, not a super expensive one, but just something I'd been looking for and it still made a cool set. So still, first off, have the full 1999, um, 2000, um, looking at picking up a few more of those in the near future. Hopefully we can finish off 2000, um, 2001 and two with the Lego Bob. Um, otherwise 2003, um, yeah, Jabba's just going to be huge and take up a lot of space, but three minifigs we'll call it then. Um, 2004, 5, 6, and 7, and then we upped it to the next year's. Still pretty good. I, you, you'll notice there's a lot more space I'm... Uh, effectively I purchased a couple more displays so most of this entire shelving unit could have displays and then move the figures on out uh, they're not exactly spaced but uh, my goal was to have like prepare extra space for new ones coming in so we'll see uh, still super happy about my uh, poly bag for dark rev or Darth Revan and looking at possibly picking up another poly bag and then my only uh, sealed Star Wars box, but old. Yeah, it's been out of shape, but still worth, had fun getting it. So, uh, completed a few of these uh, somewhere in the collection that I was just missing. Like, uh, the General Grievous did not have the lightsabers or all the arms. I only had two of the four. So I got the last two arms and then all the lightsabers needed. <laughs> For it, got a few more like extra parts. Um, trying to do with minifigures that have like head coverings or extra hair piece or something. Trying to get a bunch of just head pieces so I can make sure their helmets are full. And then we are still uh, got another Dengar. So that's my new Dengar. My old one's down there. Made sure all the lightning pieces for the... Probably going to have to get a ton more of those lightning pieces for all the Palpatines. There's just too many that have lightning pieces. Uh, 2018's got the most empty space ready for it. But that is mostly because the top one I'm saving for my newest sets. 2019, of course. Still growing, but running out of space now until I rearrange everything. 2020 and you'll notice beginning of 2021 I also picked up the two uh, plates from the little uh, May the 4th promos thinking about trying to get uh, this in a more of a sticker form that I can add to a 2x4 tile so I can keep going backwards over the rest of the years and get all the way back to Lego Star Wars 1999. I think that would just be a really cool one. And hopefully they keep putting out sets like a one set each year that has Lego Star Wars 2022 and so forth and so forth. So, yep, just a little update, but just showing how the collection has grown. Hope you guys enjoy it. Bye.